So this week we are going to be ranking year groups you teach at primary from what we think is our least favourite year group to teach to favourite year group to teach. I'll hand it over to you, Adam. Least favourite year group to teach. For me personally, EYFS is, is going in my least. It is purely the chair situation in there. It all just equals to bad back and bad times for me. I've put year one at the bottom of my list. Um, and I really struggled to decide who, who would go last. But I've put year one purely at the minute for phonics. I'm not debating the importance of phonics. I'll just be brutally honest here. I just find the teaching of phonics really boring to teach. Like it's so monotonous and prescriptive. Just not for me. Not for I'll me. I'll tell you, there's some phonics mad school staff read, who are going to be feeling snipers coming for me aren't they they're just going to who are going to be feeling there. really it it oh yeah, i'm going to go for year one in sixth place i've put eyfs here if we're talking about which year group's the most important eyfs is at the top now if you came to our last live show you know exactly my feelings towards the incredible job early. i just don't think i would do it very well i just don't think Personally, I'm cut out to be an EYFS teacher because it's a just it's a completely different job. I respect and admire it unbelievably. I just don't think I would be cut out to do it. It's not you, it's me. What I will say though, if you've got a good EYFS team and they nail early years, it sets them up. Everything else just just flows from that. It is. It, they do God's work. In five, I'm going year really. three. I've gone year six. Now, if 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 we were doing this when I first started teaching. Year six wouldn't be so low. Year six is low now just because of what it's become due to the education system, the whole SATs palaver. Not just the SATs, but also what access to technology has done to year six, like social media and stuff. By year six, majority of kids have a phone and the issues it causes makes your life as a teacher so much harder so I'd actively avoid it just purely because I can't be doing with the C poms. In number four, I'm going for year two. I've got year two at four. Yeah, That's year two. Year. In at number three, I'm going year four. Year five and three. Yeah, in at uh, two for me is year five. One of the downsides for five, depending on where you are as a school, is that's the year quite a lot of them get tutored for entrance exams and grammar tests and stuff. That can be frustrating for teachers when you're teaching a math lesson following your scheme and then a child goes, well, actually, my tutor said you can just add a zero on the end. It's like, oh, mate, your tutor isn't following the curriculum, pal, right? Yeah, I've yeah. got to teach this curriculum. Your tutor can say what he wants because he's not got Austin down his throat. I'm the one who's got to teach you this, yeah? You yeah. move your digits from column to the left, pal. And then before you know it, you're flipping Kip, Kip McGrath, the bird. In two, year three. Current year I'm teaching, loving it so far. Step up from the infants, more independence, uh, but still that level of innocence, like everything's magic to them, which means that my, well, your number one is year yes, six, sir. and my number one is year four. But just to, just to defend uh, year four, there was also this tweet from Mr. E. Finch replying to my, uh, replying to my post on Twitter. He says, year four... They can tie their own shoelaces and rarely sh** themselves. The majority can read and write, but they are still sufficiently childlike to be amazed by an interesting stone or a story about a bug. I think that nails it. Absolutely nails it.